This is something that I've been thinking about with baseball because we're talking about the fan experience and it makes me think about other sports that I've been into recently like UFC and something that the UFC does really well that other sports don't do as much is they play up the storylines of the opponents. So there'll be the McGregor versus Poirier and they talk shit to each other in press conferences and there's this whole build up and they go back and forth on social media and they create these storylines. It's, it's not just a fight, it's the story. And it seems like that's what makes a lot more people tune into the UFC is that they're not just watching two skilled fighters. There are fighters all over the world that are super skilled that no one watches because there's no story there. I think the UFC does a great job of building up the storylines between two people so that the fans are actually invested in a side, they pick a side. Mm -hmm. So to you, I'll ask, do you think Major League Baseball, or even at the, you could do it at the Olympic level as well, do you think MLB should pick, let's say five or six matchups every year for each team because you can't do it with 162 games that that would be ridiculous but just have five solid games where you pick the best player from each team and they're just talking shit to each other and this starts months before you maybe in april when the season first starts you have aaron judge and mike trout they just start going back and forth with each other on social media for a game that's happening in july and then they'll hold a a press conference where they're actually sitting, talking shit to each other, going back and forth. And then you have those matchups f a few times for each team throughout the year so that there's not just the skill aspect of baseball, but there's also kind of this fan investment in the storylines. And you could even make it fun for the players where maybe Mike Trout puts out a fucking music video, two chains or something, talking shit about the Yankees. And then, uh, Aaron Judge comes back and he does like a dance routine and all this shit where you have extra things added into the fan experience. Do you, th do you think the MLB should build up the storylines more and build up the rivalries like UFC? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that's an extreme example that it obviously would gain a certain type of crowd's attention. But um, I don't see something like to that level happening in you know, more traditional sport like baseball. Um, definitely, like I said, would get some people's attention. I think that uh, if you remember earlier this year, one of the biggest headlines from this season was with all of like the foreign substance, like sticky stuff for pitchers. And when Josh mm -hmm. Donaldson called out, uh, called out Garrett Cole and was like, um, you know, talking about him and had all this stuff to say those matchups were highly like viewed when the, um, when, when, when they faced off. And I remember making sure that I was home so I could tune in for that first, uh, for that first matchup. And as a pitcher, I was like, screw Donaldson. Like hope Cole shoves it up his ass. And like, you know, he sure enough has since sticky stuff or not. And he's having another incredible season. Um, but yeah, I mean, I do think that there are, I, I don't, I don't think I'm creative enough to really know or offer up any ideas as to what could improve fan engagement. I mean, I really like how they do all these special games. Like they did the, um, the game in Iowa a few weeks ago, they do the mm -hmm. game in Williams in Williamsport, like with the players interacting with youth players, like at the little league world series, um, the international games, like trying to bring light to baseball. I think they did it in France or somewhere in the past, mm -hmm. trying to bring light to baseball in Europe. I personally, um, I personally like that stuff a lot. Um, I think if, I think that they could do something to, um, they, again, baseball is a traditional sport. I don't want all the rules to be changed to an extent where it really changes the game, but there, I, I would think that there are ways that would improve fan engagement. Like in minor league baseball, people like to go out for all the theatrics that happen in between innings and like the competitions where they bring fans out in the field. Like, why can't that happen? at a big league level. And one thing that I, an experience that I had that I thought was so cool was when we played, one of the qualifiers was in Germany and ge we played against Germany in the night, in the, like the evening game. So there was a bunch of like fans from Germany there 
And this, I think, should definitely happen in baseball because you have so many of those quiet lulls, like different points in the game where it just seems to kind of drag on for fans. What they would do is, it only did it when Germany was hitting, but I think it should be done for both sides. The walk up, the walkout song would play for the hitter as they get to the plate. They would pause the song. And they would pause the song like after the pitcher takes the sign and comes set. Pitch is thrown. As soon as like ball or strike is called or if the ball's put in play and the play ends, like song repeats. So I guess better example would be like, mm. all right, throw ball one. And then the song, as soon as ball is called, the song picks, the walk up set, so, song picks up, ball thrown back to the pitcher, guy uh, walks around the mound, comes set again song is cut and then the song is continued so it's almost like you have music going into the game i know i love that i thought that was so cool as a Mm -hmm. pitcher like i got to throw two innings in that game and like like music you know would come on while you're like taking your sign Mm -hmm. it would kind of fire you up a little bit and from a fan engagement standpoint like i think something like that would be sick it makes it almost more of like a um like upbeat like party atmosphere to keep people engaged like mm-hmm. music is like i think the best way to you know unite people and bring people together so i think for fan engagement like something like that would be so cool that wouldn't really take away from what's going on in the field yeah there there should be a creative director for every baseball team that is in charge of storylines and just thinking of ways to make this game or this series more interesting for the most exciting uh for the most exciting series throughout the year because the players are obviously focused on you you have to play well you have to compete and you could work with someone like a creative director for a team but you also have to dedicate most of your time to the actual skills of getting better at baseball and you have guys like trevor bauer that have signed huge contracts they're good at using cameras themselves but they also have people that are helping them out on the creative end with ideas and things with videos and storylines i think if right now let's say for example the yankees got a creative director and for every single series throughout the year someone's job was just to make the game more interesting for fans without taking away from the performance with small things like in the ufc where after a fight happens you have that moment where Bruce Buffer comes out with a microphone and it's this guy with a super triumphant voice and he announces the the winner and the loser of the fight and he raises the fist of the winner and the loser has to stand there and they either clap or they their heads down something like that if you had something like that where is this super almost a like climax of the game more than shaking hands where if someone came out and announced You know, uh, after nine innings, uh, six home runs, 10 strikeouts, after three hours and 47 minutes, your winners of today's game is the New York Yankees. And then all the Yankees just like (laughs) raised their fists and started going fucking crazy. All the guys on the field. And then the other team would also have to be there too, rather than just having the shaking hands. Because shaking hands is kind of boring. Like for the fans, you're just... It's almost like uh, like a floppy boner. You're just watching guys wave their fists <laughs> at each other, passing. If you had small things like that, that wouldn't take away from the skill aspect, but were just simple ways to spice it up. I think having a creative director in baseball, someone that would create storylines where there were none and even amp up existing storylines between the players and between the teams and, and tradition and shit like that, I think that would bring baseball to the level that college football is and and what UFC is starting to become and and even have more of an international presence like soccer or something like that and and Mm -hmm. baseball has you know millions of fans all around the world watching but I do think the tradition holds back the fan experience a little bit yeah I, I, I agree I mean it's yeah, you're obviously seeing that happen in the game today where fans are losing interest or people can't stay past five or six innings. So I, I completely agree. And again, I, I've never thought about this. And this is why I say this again. I think I go back to like why in minor league baseball, when you go from there to the big leagues, is all of the in-between innings theatrics stop. Like, Or another thing, if you have the players who are a little bit more fan engaging, more outgoing, a little bit more, a little bit funnier, have bigger personalities, why not do like in-between 
inning interviews with them on the field where, you know, it's a 30 second back and forth, but they have, you know, time in the field or time in the dugout where they can think about what they want to say or what they want to do or how they want to be involved. Um, like in between innings to kind of keep the fans engaged. Mm -hmm. I don't think all players would, would be able or willing to do that, but there's players on every single team who would love that opportunity to kind of do a little bit more than just what they do on the field.